Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel or any Watchbox platform. It's in the description below. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 2019 launch, an evolution of the redesigned 2018 Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter. This is the Diver 300 meter white ceramic dial, a timepiece that's 42 millimeters in stainless steel. It's 13. 0.7 millimeters thick by 50 millimeters lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see it's a good fit. I owned the original 41 millimeter version of this watch, and I can tell you this version wears exactly the same. It may be a little bit larger, but it's not something that you notice. It will fit underneath most sleeves, as you can see from this angle. From over the top, you can see I've got some clearance on each side of my wrist, and now I will pull my sleeve up and give you that down the barrel shot so you get a better sense of the clearance on each side of my wrist. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. The strap is a piece that was created in 2018 specifically for this redesigned series, and you can see it has two crests with satin finish. There's a frosted finish to the primary. The vast majority of this is that satin, almost granular, blasted style finish. There's a little bit of fluting along the edge, and then it has a swell, so it matches the contours of the case and the slope of the lug, but it thins out considerably on its underside, so it's flexible against the underside of the wrist. You can see there's a wave pattern underneath. That wave pattern is a recurring theme in this watch. And then here's a buckle that was created just in 2018, again, for these Diver 300 meters. A combination of satin and polish. It's attractive, and it makes for quick adjustments of the fit. The case is familiar. We've seen a lot of this case since the mid-60s on Seamasters and Speedmasters, the lyre style lugs, big expanding bevels that thin out at the mid-case, and then the inward bevels also turn dramatically inward, so it actually twists in two directions. The lugs twist inward and outward at the same time. Longitudinal satin finish through the mid-case helium escape valve, conically shaped now, no longer a cylinder. The big change for 2018 was that you could now open the helium escape valve while in the midst of a dive. Useful for saturation divers. Everyone else is just a great talking point and a conversation starter. The bezel is 120 click. It features a ceramic insert that has cold enamel white characters, so the indices and the numerals and the triangular index, that's all cold enamel. It's 120 click with a nice detent, and it's easily the highest quality action, both in feel and precision, of any diver 300 meters since the 1993 debut of the series. Let's hear it. Very sharp, easy to line up the index with the skeleton blackened minute hand. And of course, these are the so-called James Bond hands, as they're known, because they were made famous on the wrist of Pierce Brosnan during his 1990s turn as 007 with the original version of this watch. A quick zero to 60 minute timer, I actually prefer to read this against a chronograph. With a chronograph, you typically have little registers for the minutes, and they typically only go up to 30 minutes, which I don't love. 60 minutes makes more sense, and it's an easier reference to read without the downstream maintenance requirements of a chronograph complication. The dial is white ceramic with the Omega Wave pattern made famous in the 90s. The indices are no longer printed, and they haven't been for a while. They're upscale applique, and they too are blackened for contrast. You can see zirconium oxide, the chemical symbol just under the hands. The dial is made of ceramic, and that's going to benefit you on multiple levels. It won't tarnish, it won't oxidize, and physical contact during watch service is not gonna leave a mark. So it has lots of the advantages of enamel, such as its ageless quality and abrasion resistance, but it doesn't have the weaknesses of enamel, like its delicacy and its cost. So it's a win-win. For 2018, the date moves from three o'clock down to six, and there's a new movement inside the case. We have a display case back over caliber 8800, bi-directional automatic winding, 55-hour power reserve. It's shock resistant thanks to a full balance bridge and a free sprung index. It's anti-magnetic thanks to a silicon hairspring. It is a tri-level coaxial, which means it has a direct and indirect impulse escapement with tangential style contact between the impulsing and impulsed surfaces. All that means is you have a sophisticated system invented by independent watchmaker George Daniels, industrialized by Omega, that extends the power reserve, reduces the maintenance requirements, and improves timing, stability, and accuracy. The watch also features a stop second or hacking function and a quick set date. It meets the COSC chronometer standards, but it goes beyond being tested in six positions in 
instead of five, and is a fully cased up watch instead of a bare movement as with the COSC. The Master Chronometer Certification, developed in conjunction with the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, further goes beyond the COSC by testing the fully cased up watch for water resistance, winding efficiency, power reserve, shock resistance, and anti-magnetism, as this watch is effectively amagnetic. An attractive arabesque spiral Cote de Genève displays across the rotor and the bridges, and the 35 joule movement is handsomely, if machine finished, but a good worthwhile use of a sapphire case back. This timepiece, for the first time in series production with the Diver 300 meter, since 2018 has had that full display case back. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter. Back with the Seamaster Diver 300 meter, note the bezel pearl and the minute hand are green compared to the rest of the dial, which is in blue. This makes for easy reference at night or underwater.